Hello everybody, I want to introduce one of the paintings which I've made. It's been just sold and before I'm sending it to London, I want to introduce it to you and tell his story. And what I painted over here, it's the story of King Solomon's Temple. It says in the legend, on the Midrash, that when King Solomon, having built his temple, Beit HaMikdash, he painted on the walls of each one of the walls inside the temple, he painted all the trees which made fruit, which making fruits all over the world. And now we are standing inside the temple and you can see the coin over here. And you can see the menorah. And you can see it, Shulchan Lechem Apanim, which is the table which they used to put every Saturday, every Shabbos. Lechem Apanim, special bread and you are not standing outside you're standing inside the temple and this this trees over here, this is painted on the walls and that's the end of the wall and that's that's the at the top of the wall and this is a wall and the point is about this painting that it says on the midrash that these trees were alive and this was kind of a miracle which happened there that when the trees outside gave fruits, so these trees also gave fruits. And it says that when Menashe the king, which wasn't such a good king, he put a statue, a idols, idols, inside the temple. So all the paintings on the walls, all the trees got dry and, and died. And that was a miracle which happened in the, in the temple. And you know, I, saw, I show this, this painting to many people and I asked them what do they see? What they see in this painting and they told me like the way to heaven and after people told me that i realized that we are standing in a place which called the kodesh and behind that that thing over here there is another room which called kodesh kodashim which is the holy in the holiness and inside that room there was the luchot abrit the ten commandments and there wasn't a, a floor over there. There was a stone which called Even Ashtia. And that stone, it says on the Zohar, on the Kabbalah, that when God created Adam, he took the sand to make, the, to make Adam from over there. And when he sent away Adam and Eve from heaven, he put two angels, Shnei Kruvim, two angels outside from heaven to keep that no one which is not allowed will come into heaven. And here you have two angels with the blue, that's his wings and that's his head. Another one, that's his wing and that's his head. And they are standing one facing each other and doesn't let, don't let anyone to come inside, which is not allowed to come in. There are only the Kohen Gadol, the highest priest on, on, the, on the very special day, Yom Kippur. And that's it. Something more about that, so, so that means this is the, 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 the closest place to heaven which we know about in this world. Uh, the place which Adam was created from. And I don't know if, if Beit HaMikdash, if the temple was looking like that, but for sure it felt like that. That when the Kohen went into, inside the temple, he for sure felt like he's in heaven. And I put over five trees at the right side and five trees at the left side which um, representing God's hands, two hands, right hand and the left hand that from them, with them, he created the world and it says that the whole world getting his light, his less, his blessings from, from, from Beit HaMikdash, from the temple and the light goes from that place, the temple, to the whole world and that's it.